Hey Gemini, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And these are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks, the first half of July, right? However long it takes you to do all of this, because each one of these cards is a physical, mental, and emotional process. So however long it takes you to process is however long this energy is going to last in your life, right? However, this is a general reading, so you can expect this for about the next two weeks or so, give or take a little, right? Now, this is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, far recesses, down in the dark corner somewhere, this reading very well may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, Deep Thoughts with Dana, you can click on the link in the box below and you can get a $50 tarot card reading until... August 1st. That's right. I will no longer offer my $50 tarot card readings after August 1st because the radio show has generated, I'm doing a radio show if y'all don't know, and it has generated a great amount of interest in what I do. So on top of my regular old readings and then my YouTube readings, and now I have the whole radio show readings, um, I am busier than a one-legged ass kicker, right? Busier than a one-legged ass kicker. And I just can't keep up. The thing about the YouTube $50 readings, though, is that many people are coming over from the radio station and they're watching my videos and they're getting the $50 readings, but they're not subscribing to my channel and I'm kind of getting screwed, right? Um, and not that they're doing it on purpose. They're just not YouTubers like you guys and they just don't understand the importance and the value of subscribing, right? So because of that, readings from August 1st onward will no longer be $50. If you would like to get on the bandwagon and schedule yourself a reading before August 1st, I will forever and always give my current clients $50 tarot card readings. I will send everybody an email that has a special link just for you so you can schedule your forever $50 tarot card readings. So if you've ever thought about getting a reading from me and you have not as of yet, I would highly advise that you subs subscribe, subscribe. I would highly advise that you schedule yourself a reading before August 1st so you can lock yourself into the VIP list and always and forever get the $50 tarot card readings. Okay. All right. That being said, let's get started with this reading. Okay. All right, Gemini, this is what we have going on here. You start off this reading with the Fool card. This is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life, Gemini. And I think this has been kind of a, an undertone for your last few readings. Just a brand new beginning and a brand new journey, right? You are searching for stability and balance in your life. The Queen of Cups tells us that you are so good with this. So good with this. The Queen of Cups is about your feelings. It's about your emotional security. You are calm, cool, collected, and in your heart of hearts, you know that this is the right track for you to be on this new beginning in this new journey. Because the Ace of Swords comes in and says that you have reached a mental breakthrough right? You have some truth that you have spoken to yourself about what you believe in, Gemini. You have come to the conclusion of, of, of some truth about what it is that you believe in. And with the Nine of Cups as the bridge between the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant, this tells me that you have come to a conclusion about not only what you believe in, but about what makes you happy and what it is that you want to do with yourself. Even if it's an undefined thing, you know that where you were before this is not what you want to do with yourself. Sun card comes in 
And just like I said, you have come to an absolute clarity about what you believe in and what makes you happy, what is going to be your wishes fulfilled, right? The sun card says that you've come to the conclusion about what makes you happy. You see things crystal clear now. And now that you have processed all of this, the wheel comes in and the floodgates are going to open for you because you have learned what you needed to learn about yourself, about your life, about your relationships, about your choices, right? And this wheel tells me that you are on the right track right here. This wheel only opens up a turning point in your destiny when you are prepared, armed, and ready to take on what comes next using everything that you've learned up until this point to carry forward. Why? Justice. That's why. Because this truth up here with the Ace of Swords sets you free. It sets you free. This is about universal fairness, truth, cause, and effect. What is the cause? Whatever, whatever, whatever set you out on this journey right here, that's, that's the, 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 the catalyst, the trigger. This triggered you to do some soul searching and some introspection about what you believe, about what makes you happy, seeing things crystal clear and getting ready to embark on a turning point in your destiny, cause and effect. What's the effect? The effect is that there is now karmic universal justice applied to your, to your life, truth that you have not seen before now. This truth right here hits you right in the feels with the King of Cups. Could it be truth about love? Yes. But I also think that if it, that it's, it, it could also be truth about the way that you feel about your life, right? And the bridge between justice and the King of Cups is the star, right? Hope, faith, purpose, spirituality in your life. And I kind of get the feeling here I almost called you Aries. Are you dealing with an Aries? I almost get the feeling here, Gemini, that um, you are on a spiritual quest of some sort, some, some something. There's something that is just metamorphosizing in your life right now, Gemini. Something huge, huge, so huge that it is a turning point in your destiny. Brings us to the Queen of Pentacles which is clarified by the four of pentacles, right? This new journey, this new beginning that you're about to embark upon, this truth that you've spoken to yourself, this, this understanding of what you believe and who you are and what it is that makes you happy re revolves around the queen of pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles, she's not a person in this reading. This Queen of Pentacles is about everything that hits us in the bread basket. It's about home, security, being grounded. It's, it's about everything that is important to our personal stability and our personal security. Four of Pentacles comes in and tells me that you are regaining control, stability, and security of your life, right? Now, four is kind of a lack mentality a little bit, but it's, it's coming out of a lack mentality. And it's about building structure, foundation, and stability in your life from this point forward from the point of this turning point in your destiny with the wheel forward you are going to create structure foundation and stability in your life life being represented by the queen of pentacles down here my friends we have the two of wands planning for your future clarified by the four of cups reevaluating everything you ever thought you knew about yourself, your future, where you're going, and what you're doing. Reevaluating 
everything, making decisions, doing discovery about what it is that makes you happy, making some progress and planning for your future. For the Princess of Cups, this is a creative new beginning. She's a messenger of creating a new beginning in your life. You are creating a new beginning in your life, followed by the star card again. This is the card of Aquarius. It may mean something to you. It may not, and it's okay either way. But this creative new beginning, this new beginning that you're creating in your life right here brings hope, faith, purpose, and again, spirituality. Are you on a spiritual quest, Gemini? I feel so much metamorphosis going on here. Just an absolute metamorphosis. This, this new beginning that you're creating that is going to bring you hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality into your life is rooted in the Four of Wands. This is about having harmony in your home, in your life, in your community, in everything around you. It's about, again, four of pentacles, four of wands. It's about structure, foundation, and stability. It's about breaking out of stagnation and the result being the process of building a solid foundation for your future. What happened? What happened up here? See, it's kind of, it's almost like this right here. Whoa. It's almost like this should be up here, right? Because this is, this is telling us what happened to be the catalyst for you to head out on this new beginning in this new journey. What happened here, Gemini, is five of pentacles. Either you left somebody out in the cold or they left you out in the cold or y'all left each other out in the cold. To the Nine of Wands, this is about being defensive, right? Left out in the cold and just being pissed off, just mad, angry, defensive. The bridge between these two cards is the Three of Swords, heartbreak and sorrow and pain, right? Because the Queen of Swords, being the card of Gemini, cut something out. Okay, you left somebody out in the cold. Perhaps they left you out in the cold and you cut them out. Either way, you are cutting this bullshit out of your life. You are cutting out who it is that you gave and received with on a daily basis because there is some kind of selfishness. There is not equal give and take and you cut it out of your life. Look, you left it out in the cold, right? You left it out in the cold. What are you doing now? The Page of Cups. You are creating a new beginning in your life. To the Temperance. You are seeking purpose in your life. Nine of, of Pentacles. There is a culmination to this whole damn thing. And it's over with. This cycle in your life, this chapter in your life is over. Nine stands for fruition, attainment, and bringing things to a conclusion. That's what you're doing. You are completing a life cycle here, Gemini. To the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about reflection and assessment, right? It's taking a look at what you've invested in. And, and, and determining if this is something that you can continue to invest in, right? Seven is all about perfect order, observation, investigation, discovery, and knowledge. And that's what you did here, Gemini. That's what you did. You, you, you dug in and you uprooted what was wrong in your life. You snipped it out and you are rebuilding something amazing. And lo and behold, it was a tower moment in your life, an absolute tower moment. Sudden change, upheaval, chaos because of a revelation and an awakening that's creating a personal transformation for you. 
This tower moment, it could have been painful, but it's also liberating. It is, it is destroying the foundation that was not built on solid ground. And it's giving you the opportunity to recreate your life in a magical, beautiful, spiritual metamorphosis that is just mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You have the star card twice, right? Twice you have the star card. That is, that is, that is source telling you it is okay. There is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon. We have your back, Gemini. Pulled some outcome cards for you. Judgment, an absolute irrevocable judgment call that is going to change your life. It's a rebirth. The Knight of Pentacles, it's going to allow you to plan your future. Your future is going to change. This judgment is going to allow you to plan your future. Ten of Cups, that's what is waiting for you, Gemini. Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, values alignment in your relationships. The King of Cups, Gemini, this is about emotional balance and control. The Empress building abundance, the culmination of all four queens in the deck. You got your emotions in check. You got your mental in check. You have your passion in check and you have your pockets in check. Where are you headed? Into the Hermit and the High Priestess. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. After all of this, Gemini, what you're going to do is you're going to withdraw. You're going to withdraw and you're going to figure it out. You're going to do some soul searching and some introspection. You're going to get some inner guidance. And what you're going to do with this high priestess is you're going to check you're going to check your subconscious mind, your intuition, and you are going to answer to yourself for what it is that you've come through and for what it is that's on the horizon for you, Gemini. The hermit to the high priestess. A lot of people would see this and go, oh, no, 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 no. This is where you're going to bloom. Gemini, this is where you're going to bloom right here. You're going to figure out exactly what your next step is right here. And it's going to be into hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life, Gemini. This is a beautiful reading, an absolutely beautiful reading, Gemini. And I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you gleaned something from it and you have amazing things coming for you. If you would like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your personal situation, until August 1st, 50 bucks, we'll hook it up at the link in the box below. There you go, my friends. Namaste. Oh, wait, Gem. I want to do the dice. I almost forgot the dice. Let's do these dice. This is just like a silly little thing that I'm doing right now, okay? Let's do the dice. Nine. Look at that. Your spiritual number for the next two weeks is nine. Fruition, attainment, bringing things to conclusion, completion, fulfillment, right? It's, it's the, what this whole reading is about. God, spirit never ceases to amaze me. Gemini, you are fucking awesome. I will talk to you in two weeks. Namaste.